We now enter the more cinematic portion of this class, as OST presents Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Hex Blood. So here is the source code of interest. Like the previous example, we have a buffer. It's not zero initialized, and we simply move 42 into the last element of the buffer, and we return blood. But this generates some very interesting looking assembly. This assembly has a repstos. Why is that? What's going on? Well, the easy way to find out would be to stop, step through the assembly, and draw a stack diagram. Perhaps you'll be able to infer what's going on with this code. Perhaps you want to change the source code a little bit in order to make sure you fully understand what's going on on the stack. Either way, now's the time to seize the day.